Yeah. Or they wouldn't bother. No. Well, first of all, let me let me tell you something. It was more than he said. He said because you know you can't have a lawsuit and leave me on the air for fourteen months and then say I didn't know what what Howard was doing. You, you got you, even you're in control. Of, I, I can't hijack a radio. You can't have seven delay buttons and never hit them and never and never tell me I'm doing anything wrong. Ah. And then suddenly say I did something wrong. <coughs> really. That's exactly what really, happened. Really, Howard. Uh, That's so, exactly what happened. So is is Howard inadvertently backing what what happened to us and the fact that <laughs> we were, should never have been fired? How many dump buttons did we did we have back seven. then? Seven, probably seven. Yeah, yeah. Because one, there was three in the studio alone. Three in the four, studio. Five. I one think in it, the room. Maybe six. Unless Pete had one. Two in the, the boss's office. Yeah. And the key. And the day we got in. Uh, in big trouble. No one hit their button. Yeah. Not so what one happened? Person hit what their happened? button. Wow. Well, oh, oh, Howard's backing us. How about that? Thank you, Howard. Why, why not wait until the suit is filed? You know why? Because they'll file the suit. You read it, and you're going to say, "Well, gee, I got questions." I'd rather come out proactively and say, "You know what? These, I'm sick of the intimidation factor here. Uh, they're trying to. This is what they do to talent." You wait and see what they do to this state of New York. Remember, they were touting these next big thing. You'll see how they start to distance themselves. They're going to bury this guy. He's never going to work again. Hmm. Interesting stuff. <laughs> that is some interesting stuff. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Don't hurt your hand. <laughs> Trying not to. What are you ringing the bell today? Oh, for serious stock. God. Well, that's just the beginning. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of fun. This has to legs, too, I got to tell you. I've been reading the message boards, New York Radio message board and stuff, and they say that uh, uh, CBS Radio being a little silly, giving uh, Howard a lot of the much-needed publicity he uh, he needs at this point mm -hmm. for uh, that, because he got a big boost when he went over to Satellite, and then all of a sudden he kind of dropped off the face of the earth. Uh, no one's been talking about him, and this kind of gives him a little publicity. Half a billion dollars is a lot of money to get sued for. Oh, yeah. It's a shitload of cash. They want every penny oh. he's making. Let's say hi to Jaxus. Jackson. Well, that's not what it says Jackson. Who wrote Jaxus? Someone wrote Jaxus. If you didn't understand the name enough, wouldn't you just put Jackson? Who wrote that? Was it stupid <laughs> Danix? I've never seen Danix. No. <laughs> I've never seen Jaxus written before. It was Trevin. <laughs> All right, what's up, Jaxus? Hey, guys. I, I don't know... Uh, I, I, in fact, I was just stunned a minute ago when I heard you say that his lawyer was sitting there with him because I didn't see his press conference. What lawyer would let him do this? I, I've been a trial lawyer for five years now. And Sir, do you like John that. Grisham novels? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like John Grisham novels. I like novels. that, the underdog one. They're ones. inspiring, yeah. aren't they? It all works but, out in the end. <laughs> I, like that about out. I like that when it does. They walk out the yeah. courtroom into the bright sunlight, smiling. Hey, dude, what's that Grisham novel about the young lawyer who like takes on the impossible odds? Which one is that? <laughs> um, that's, that's the uh, all. That's the uh, eight volume set. Is that <laughs> is. I want a Hakalugi in a Grisham's face. I think it's something different Ooh. already. Stupid. But, you know, uh, the thing that stuns me about this is that his lawyer is letting him answer each one of these charges individually. Yeah, right what he, there. What he has just done is basically laid out. That's his defense. That's his so deposition, that, his video deposition right there. And, and you guys have basically, I mean, and it, uh, you know, you're smart guys, but you didn't need to be a genius to look through each one of the, of the things that he laid out as his defense for those. Yes, you did. So they're basically going to take that into court and go, this is what Howard says is the reason for all of these things. Here are the facts. Give us our $500 million. Yeah, now I, I wouldn't be surprised if this ends in a summary judgment where the judge just goes, you know what, you're right, absolutely, bam, there, there's, your, uh, there's your ruling. It wouldn't shock me. This is going to get really interesting, really interesting. I, 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 I think if CBS wins this lawsuit, it's the, it's the end of Sirius. If CBS wins this lawsuit, it's oh absolutely God, yeah. the end of Sirius. And and I'll tell you this, um, you know, as soon plus as Howard's show is going to suffer now because he's going to do the whole Lenny Bruce thing. Yeah, now it's just going to be all about. You think we're talking too much about this? He's going to do four or five hours on this every single. The whole day. show is going to be. He finally has something to talk about caught. on his new radio show. How he's getting screwed over by CBS Radio. That's going to be the whole thing. All right. All right. Punch it out, guys. Thank you, Jack Sis. Bye, Mister. Uh, Jay in Wisconsin. Jay. Is Howard Stern's private parts caught in a bear trap? Find out at six. <laughs> <Put it> out. 
Time for the news uh, I teasers. Like, I like the idea, the I, news teasers. I like the idea. I, I like the news voice, though. Come on. Yeah, he did a good news voice. But you yeah, know what nice bothered me? He said, he said, find out. Find out. That's not how they talk up there. I know, but I don't want to hear Ottawa news. I want American <laughs> news. It's Wisconsin. That's Ottawa. Well, it should be part of uh, Canada. Let's be honest. I mean, it might yeah, as well be. close enough. You South, like South Canada. We think it's cute. They put cheese in our heads, eh? Hey. <laughs> you nuts, LOL. All right. <laughs> Controversial shock jock Howard Stern, now on satellite radio, could be in some serious legal trouble. Oh, I got it. Ah. I got it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that Matt. Oh, Matt Lauer, you're terrific. Okay, terrific. Was yeah, it, yeah. Well, that's Matt Lauer. Of course it is. He's good. Controversial shock jock Howard Stern, now on satellite radio, could be in some serious legal trouble. He's been hit by his old bosses at CBS with a lawsuit seeking hundreds of millions of dollars in damages. But Stern says it's nothing more than a personal vendetta. Here's NBC's Anton. Oh, get me. My mother's mad that she won't... Uh that I won't kiss her on the lips. One observer described the separation of shock jock uh, Howard right Stern there. from CBS Radio as a messy divorce. Did you sleep with him right away when you met Tommy Lee? No. And it just got even messier. Late Tuesday, in a 43-page complaint, CBS sued Stern for breach of contract, fraud, unjust enrichment, and misusing airtime during his final months under contract before he left with much fanfare for Sirius Satellite Radio, a subscription radio service similar to cable TV. I've been bullied, threatened by CBS. In what he called a preemptive strike, Stern held a news conference hours strike, before the suit was announced. Shock and awe. I showed up every day for work for you guys. I could have, in the last 14 months, I could have, sh I could have not shown up. I could have been sick. I, I delivered the ratings. I delivered the money to you guys. Yeah, why, why are you picking on me? Oh, my God. CBS. Why didn't he sh not show up? Because that's, that's CBS's case. He could have stayed home and said he was sick. He showed up every day for work to push the fact that he was going to Sirius. Jesus Christ, of course he showed up every day. If I had $250 million worth of stock riding on it, wahoo. I'd be there, too. Sign up, people, please. <laughs> CBS claims Stern used its airtime to line his own pockets and build Sirius' <laughs> subscriber base, essentially giving it free advertising and keeping secret a deal that allowed Stern to collect more than $200 million <laughs> in Sirius stock for exceeding subscriber targets. Secret. Paul Hine is with Billboard Radio Monitor. Howard announced in October of 2004 on the air that he was leaving terrestrial radio and going to satellite and then proceeded to do uh, a one-year commercial for satellite radio that rubbed a lot of people uh, the wrong way at Infinity Broadcasting, which is now CBS Radio. Stern insisted he acted honorably and honestly and blasted the lawsuit as a personal vendetta against him by CBS CEO Les Moonves. You can't have a lawsuit and leave me on the air for 14 months and then say, I didn't know what, what Howard was doing. Like many divorces, this one comes down to money. With CBS Radio asking for what amounts to hundreds of millions of dollars, including the value of the serious stock Stern received. <laughs> Man, is that ugly. Oh, is that ugly. It'll get... Uh, very interesting from here. Yeah. Yeah. You know why I'm spending twenty, thirty grand in lawyers? Uh, could be a little more than that, Jimmy. <laughs> 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 All right, we should take a break. Right, we'll let that rest for now, unless something pops during the show today. That's yeah, fantastic. That's terrific. Trust me, though, it's going to get a lot more interesting. That's terrific.